Hey y'all, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Ayoka. I'm getting ready to bring you your general energy update for today. Remember to flip the roles as you see fit. Also keep in mind we're on different timelines, okay? So this could be past, present, or future energies for any one of you. It may not even be happening at all, okay? However, don't force it to fit if it doesn't feel like it's your story. Take and flip the roles, okay, as you see fit. Let me set my intentions and then I'll jump right in. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my angelic guides for helping me with this collective reading. Thank you for using me as a messenger, speaking through me loud and clearly, protecting us as we go through the spiritual gates to commune with you. Thank you so much that nothing can come through the portal that is not in alignment with the divine's will for the purpose of this reading. Thank you so much for using me as the messenger, and so it is. All right, y'all, so let's see what's going on. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe button if you're feeling my vibe. You know what? Just hit the like button anyway, just for the support. Why? Because we do this to be of service. It's not going to always help everyone, but it's going to help someone. And it helps the messages to get across the YouTube world, social media world, however right and that's the whole purpose of us doing this this is like an updated upgraded level of evangelism without having to leave your own daggone living room right so this is amazing someone may actually need the message so thank you for your support that's the best positive energy that you can actually give back into my community um is that the like button the subscribe button the viewer hours you know so thank you so much you guys thank you for everyone who has definitely been um sending me donations the love offerings are definitely i, I really appreciate it y'all especially since i had to be out for about 10 days due to covid and yeah i'm self-employed on top of that i do have another job but we're on winter break and stuff like that but y'all know how it goes so just just know that i definitely appreciate y'all okay i have attached my um amazon wish list too as well to um the detail box below this video so my website is there my um amazon wish list is there also my um paypal link if you want to send a donation also please go to my twins youtube okay um that's my friend y'all he has been supporting me since day one when it comes to this and he actually does the music the intro music for me for my videos so go to his youtube and subscribe you're going to see that link in the detail box below this video as well i definitely appreciate that y'all this is what we're here to do to help raise the collective i help through this and he is one that is musically inclined okay so he does dj um he makes beats um he does my instrumentals of course he does a whole host of stuff so definitely support j prime thank you so much y'all so show me what i need to see here for my collective what's the overall energy for today what is it that you desire Aha. okay what is it that you desire? The child came out and I put that card away. Okay, so somebody is either having some um, stuff going on around your own inner childhood trauma is what I just heard. Or you may just deeply care about children or something here involving a child. So I'll see. And then reward yourself. All right. So you have you now have this opportunity to write the script according to your heart's true desire so once you clearly decide upon what it is that you truly desire and know that you're ready and deserving of it then it's going to magically appear in your life that's how the laws of the um, universe work right so being a vibrational match to the frequency of the universe is what helps you to manifest get very clear about what it is that you want and then you focus on that and that's it don't worry about what you're seeing with your natural eye don't worry about don't don't let your mind come in and start talking shit to you okay because it's going to talk you out of your manifestation so definitely release what no longer serves you here get into full alignment and become a vibrational match to your desire all right so i'm gonna pull out for um the child card but we're going to see because you've been given a whole lot of yourself. Maybe you're give, someone is giving a lot of themselves to their child, to their children or something like that. Or it's just a simple fact that you've just been doing a lot for everyone. And it's time for you to really receive at this point is what I'm hearing. It's time. You know, again, the laws of attraction work how? Through giving and receiving. It has to be a balance of that. And that's what keeps your energy, your mood, your motivation and everything consistent and at a high level. OK, so allow people to give to you and allow the universe to give back to you as well. So you can do things um, to see the reciprocation through 
through that means by giving your time um shoot doing this <laughs> you understand what i do here um resources don't always have to be about money it could be about if you're if you're talented or you have a gift or something and someone needs help you can donate your time literally i'm a natural hair care stylist too as well so it's like sometimes we do a barter i do a bartering system all the time where i may just just give you know just hey you know what you don't have enough to do it bam i got you okay so um it can be done in any way y'all so what is this about the child tell me what's going on here with the child so the two of wands is in the reverse. So what I'm seeing here is that it's a, I'm, let me just say this. This is like an unexpected obstacle. I feel like it's one of those things where you may have been planning or someone here may have been planning some things in their life, making certain decisions, especially when it comes to their long-term goals. But bam, plans got derailed. Okay. And it could be because of a child. So show me what I need to see. Either that or you or this person may feel very hesitant about making some plans because of a child. Okay. Page of Wands in the reverse position. So basically what I'm saying with that is like, you know what you want. And that's why it's asking, what do you desire? You know, it's okay. You can reward yourself. You give so much of yourself. Like, don't neglect yourself. Um, at this point, I'm hearing that you know anything surrounding your family or this child is taken care of. Okay, but otherwise, it's like you don't really know how to express the ideas or even put it into action. Whatever that may be here, these are new ideas. Is also what I'm seeing with that. At first, you just was like, you know what, I'm gonna do. You know, I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna try everything to see how this go, but. Something gets in the way and it could be ego. Remember, I was like, don't allow your mind to talk you out of your blessing, right? Because that's what will happen. So basically what I'm seeing with that, yep. Nine of Pentacles comes out in the upright position here. Okay, so it could be a have a lot to do with your money too. It's like, it's so much that you can do or so much you feel that you can't do because you're limited in some kind of way. Okay, but what I'm seeing here is like this is about you standing in, uh, and this is what I'm hearing. It's it's time for you to stand in your power, okay? Because you're working on your self sufficiency. When I see that Nine of Pentacles, you're definitely working on that. You're overcoming your obstacles. The confidence and everything I feel like may be there. So that's a perfect recipe <laughs> for real to manifest what you desire for real because you're you, it feels like you're starting to get balance and in alignment so that means like everything except for it seems like it's one thing that could be left um that you're still trying to work on okay and i do see that it could be some type of competition or it could be someone that covers what you have or it could be someone just being adversity and it just feels like you may have to keep fighting and fighting and fighting to um make your dreams come true or to make your plan come true because it's too much going on around you so whoever that is that's putting up the opposition for you it may be putting you in this king of swords energy or if you're the masculine of my collective or if this is your person they may be going into that energy there i definitely feel that it's it's like when it comes to this it's like you that's air sign energy you may not can't solve the problem or you may not understand how to solve the problem where normally you can solve certain things here and work it out but with this particular situation it's going to require your honesty is what i'm hearing it's going to require discipline clear thinking you got to operate in your integrity and stick to the facts for real okay because um yeah with this situation whatever is happening here it's going to require you to be in your king of swords energy it's requiring you to put up your boundaries, set a healthy boundary, to be firm, okay? Ace of Wands and to follow your heart. So blend that together, your logic, your intuition, your heart, okay? Use, um, make decisions based off of, from your heart space and your logic. Because this is a time, it's like it feels like you may have been wanting to take some type of chance and follow your passion or whatever that may be and yeah somebody is making it hard or something it, it it doesn't even have to be a somebody it could be just all around your situation it's just like 
just not looking how you want it to look. And it's a lot of adversity when it comes to you getting to your nine of pentacles. You're, you're ten for real because you need ten of these. Getting to your self-sufficiency. Tell me about the seven of wands. Check in with your heart. Self is definitely what I just heard too because even if this is childhood trauma um something could be triggering you from childhood okay and this is where it comes an obstacle where your mind starts to get in the way it's like something may make you feel like you won't be successful or when it comes to expressing the ideas you know sometimes you may feel like eh, people may not accept what i'm trying to do or people may give me you know it just may be opposing it Tell me about the seven of wands. And that's what it looked like is really happening. And somewhere it's some opposition. Four of swords in a reverse position here. So what I'm seeing with that is like, yeah, you're trying to get back out there. Literally, you're trying to get back out there. You're trying to rejoin the freaking world, whatever that may be. You may be trying to date again. You may be like, look, I'm, I'm trying to get out there and meet new people, network, whatever it may be. But somebody is definitely, whoever this person is, is or situation it is something here that may have caused you a lot of anxiety may have also caused you to feel like you just was overloaded mentally this is like one of these things where you know how whoever this is is like they put you in this negative mindset and it's a bad thing okay so mm -hmm, you were ready to, to get back out there and this person is like or well, this situation is caused it's, it's just seems like Every little thing is coming up against you. Temperance card comes out in the upright position. So it's requiring you to um, have some type of patience here. As things begin to balance out, I'm definitely hearing you're going to have to get clear about what it is that you want. No matter what, it's like one of those things where no one can take from you what is meant for you is what I'm hearing. I don't care what the opposition is. I don't care who tries to put up a fight. If it's supposed to be for you, it's going to happen. They may be creating delays and obstacles, but they won't win. It just requires you to stay persistent in what it is that you desire and what you're dreaming about and what you want to manifest. Otherwise, if you fold on your own beliefs or your own dreams, then, hey, that was on you. It wasn't due to the opposition. Tell me what I need to see. that seems like that's it yep the magician okay get out there and cultivate this you have all the tools that you need at your at your fingertips literally you got your you got a mother freaking wand even if you don't really got a wand <laughs> you were saying it's your imaginary wand shit i use my cellulite so okay you got everything you need at your fingertips to manifest what it is that you're trying to do you're just gonna have to get clear on what it is that you desire and do that shit okay so let me read the um what do you desire card from the book? Let me see something. Mm -mm. What book is this? The Daily Guidance. Okay. Hold on one second, y'all. My book still fell over. It says here, this card comes to you because you've been waiting for external signs of what you should do next. The angels say that the answers come from inside of you. You must decide what you want before anything can change. Carve out time to meditate upon, the true, upon your true heart's desire and know that you deserve the best, as we all do. So use affirmations and positive visualization to manifest your desires, clarify your desires, release any guilt or fear regarding them okay ask for what you want and you may have some type of fear or guilt something could be because of a child an unexpected turn came to your story into your plans okay so that may be why you may not feel like oh i can't have what i want because i have this child that's not true the universe is abundant some of you may feel this way because it's something from childhood that make you feel like you like the universe isn't abundant. You understand? Like it's not enough for you to have that in that. You know, like you can have literally what it is that you want. It may not come all at one time, but if you're in alignment, you can begin to see these things appear in your life magically. 
just like the card says it'll rush into your life as if by magic you got that all right y'all so that's it i'm gonna holler at y'all tomorrow all right peace